Hey guys, good morning. Um, I wanted to come on today and show you how to make one of my favorite breakfasts lately, which is a um, pumpkin, zucchini, and carrot oatmeal. And uh, it's really, really easy. The whole thing just takes five or 10 minutes, basically just adding everything to a pot and heating it up. Um, it's thick and creamy, tastes like pumpkin. It's got some veggies in it. Perfect. <laughs> um, so I'll go over what you're gonna need to make it and then I'll just flip you around and uh, show you. So first, carrot and zucchini, of course, and uh, we'll just grate these up. I usually use about half a cup of each um, to sweeten it and add protein. I've got some um, plant-based protein powder here. This is from a Canadian company called North Coast Naturals called Veggie Pro 7. And it is made from rice, hemp, chia, quinoa, alfalfa, pumpkin, and coconut. So it doesn't have pea protein in it. I can't do pea protein, which is why I like this one. Um, but you can use uh, your favorite um, vanilla protein powder. Anything will work. And you're going to need some oats. Just plain old rolled oats are perfect. Some chia seeds. Um, you can also do flax. Um, this just helps thicken it up a bit and adds a little bit of extra nutrition, some omega-3s. Um, so I really like adding those in there to kind of give it a bit more volume, but it is optional. You'll also need some pumpkin, and I've just got some canned pure pumpkin here. And what else? A bit of cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. Um, I'm out of pumpkin pie spice, so I've just got some cinnamon today and a little bit of sea salt which is optional but I really like the flavor it adds and then to cook it just some water so did I get everything I think so I'm just gonna flip you around I'll show you how to um, prepare it in the pot and that's it okay so first thing is oats um, I use 30 grams which is a third of a cup add that in you're going to want a tablespoon of chia seeds, which is 12 grams. Um, then you're going to want a half a cup of pumpkin, and um, that is 120 grams. There we go. And some cinnamon. I just dump a little bit in, maybe half a teaspoon. Some salt, again that's optional, but I really like it. Uh, protein powder. I use one scoop for 30 grams. And the carrot and zucchini. So I don't usually measure these exactly, but um, something like one third to one half a cup is good. I just want like a fine grate so it's not too chunky. So that's probably good for the carrot. So that was about 35 grams, which I think in the recipe on the blog I put 30 grams. So that's about right. Same for the zucchini. There we go. That was a little bit more, 50 grams, that's okay. And one cup water. So basically I just throw everything in and then we're gonna move this to the element and heat it up for five, six minutes and that's it. Okay, so I've got this on the element, it's all mixed up. And uh, you're just going to heat it up until it's all thick and creamy. So I've got it on medium-high heat, and you just want to watch it um, as it starts to heat because it can burn on the bottom, so you want to stir it quite frequently. So I just turned it down to low. You can see it's starting to bubble through. Um, so just turn it down when it gets to that point so that you don't burn it. And it's just going to be another minute or two.
best part. Today I'm going to add um, a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds, one tablespoon of tahini. Almond butter is also good. A little bit of maple syrup is good. Any nuts or seeds, banana, apple, whatever you feel like. That's all done. You can see how thick and creamy it is. It's so good. All right, so that's it. Carrot, zucchini, pumpkin, oatmeal. I am gonna go eat this because I'm hungry. Um, I hope you enjoy it if you give it a try. Let me know if you do. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.